Welcome to rainy Orlando, Florida, site of the Capital One Bowl. Today it will play host to first round Northern Regional action. Today's game is a three versus six game in which the Florida State Seminoles will take on the TCU Horn Frogs. Florida State is 10 and two on the season, 10 and one EA Sims, their only time that we've actually been able to see him was a 23 to 22 loss to Clemson which finished the regular season undefeated Florida State is one of those very good teams but not great we will see how they do against a very average TCU squad All right, TCU will start off the ball. Ricky Mason leads his team onto the field. He will be up against a two Florida State defensive ends, Lou Stevenson and Nate Smith. They're not as good as South Carolina's Ward and Massey combination, but a very good squad. First play is going to be right up the gut for eight yards. This time Massey under center send, sends a man in motion. He's going to drop back, throw for the first time today. Throw, nice shot, nice pass out of the numbers, and that's going to be across the 50-yard line. Nick Kurt on the reception. Expect the tight end to make a few catches today as, it line, as the uh, Florida State coverage is fairly weak in linebacker. Good catch over in the middle there for Robert Cole. It's nine yards. And Mason, and uh, sorry, Mason has started off nice two and two. Mason sends his, his tight end motion. Will drop back. He throws to his tight end, wide open over the middle, and he's going to be inside the Florida State 30-yard line, setting up first and ten. Florida State's got a little problem covering with their linebackers, and it looks like TCU's decided to exploit it. This time, Mason in the shotgun. Josh back. He looks. He's looking. He's got time, and he's going to throw the ball to the sidelines, and that is going to be incomplete. He had his man on the sidelines. He just could not deliver an accurate ball. Those deep out throws are something that you know the pros look for. Oh. There's a throw to the sidelines, and that's going to be way out of bounds. Anyways, those deep throws are, are something. The deep out throws are something that the pros look for. Not every college kid's got it. Um, for Mason, I don't see Sundays in his future, unfortunately. Trips right. Mason a shotgun drops back. He's looking. He throws. He's he had his man on the sidelines, and it is dropped. That's going to be a fourth and ten. Here comes the field goal unit. Mason actually put it right on the numbers, but it, but his man dropped it. Place the kick. It's up and looks like it just barely got in through the uh, right upright. Florida State kicks up, or uh, TCU kicks out to Florida State. He's just going to kneel that in the end zone. And now Florida State's offense comes out. It is led by Ray Martindale. However, the true star of this right now is Nate Cannon. And a pistol, Nate Cannon, halfback, is, is set deep. They're going to hand right to him, and Nate Cannon is going to break one tackle. Going to make a move, and he's going to get up to the 35, and they're actually going to give him the first down. Nate Cannon, there it is, 1,234 yards on the year, 11 touchdowns. So Florida State has got a great running back in Nate Cannon. They have an offensive line that's good. It's not as good as the, the, the Ohio State's. It's not as good as the uh, Bulldog Bulldozer. Those are some great lines. But they're good. As I said, Florida State overall is a very good team. Just not great. We'll see how deep they can get in the playoffs. First steps first. got to beat TCU. Martindale on the shotgun. Fake hand off to Cole. Cannon drops back. Throws. Got it over the middle, and that's going to be his receiver, Nick Brooks. He's going to make a catch, a little slant, right at the hash marks. Takes a hit, too. Holds on to the ball. 
Florida State on TCU's 45. This is the first drive. Start off at their own 25-yard line. I formation. Fake hand off to Cannon. And once again, it's Nick Brooks over the middle at the hash marks. First and 10 set up for Florida State. Nate Cannon set deep in an eye formation. They're going to throw again this time. Martindale is going to try to run, and he is going to be hit and sacked for a three-yard loss. I don't know if he just got just didn't see anybody open, didn't see the look that he wanted. I don't know. But he definitely took off and ran just a little too early for my taste. That's going to set up a second and 13 from the TCU 35. Martindale flanked by his hat back and fullback. Here's a snap, and he's going to run once again without letting the play develop, but he's going to get about 11 yards and get it up to the 22-yard line. So, positive, a definitely positive play. I always like quarterbacks to try to try to read the situation. Now, behind this line, and Cannon as a running back, you got to hand it to him. Big hole. It's filled by the linebacker, but Cannon runs over him for the first down. So we got first and 10 from TCU's 19. This is Florida State's first drive of the game. Started from their own 25-yard line. Doing a good job moving the ball up the field. And it's going to be a delay to Cannon. And the defensive end is going to get him from behind. Those delays, if you've got a smart defensive end, he's going to find the little crease that the tackle leaves, and he's going to fill it and stop the delay before it starts. Sets up a second and 13 from TCU's 22-yard line. Martindale in the shotgun, flanked by uh, Cannon. Four wide receivers set. They're going to set up a screen to Cannon. Cannon is going to be snuffed out after a one-yard gain. Third and 11. Those screens, college football seems, and the pros for that matter, they seem to be relying on those screens a lot. And eventually, teams catch on. Only a three-man rush. Martindale drops back. He's got plenty of time. Throws over the center, and he's got his tight end down at the six-yard line. That's Kyler Gatewood. Sorry, that's a receiver. It was a slot receiver. Came back for the ball. Very nice play. Very nice catch. Four, rece four receiver set. Martindale on the shotgun. He's going to throw again. He's looking. Looks like the men are covered. He's going to have to run with a ball. And he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. And a sack for a one-yard loss. It's going to be second and goal from the seven. Florida State looking to punch it in on their first drive. that started from their own 25. Eye formation. Cannon and set back. They're going to hand it to Cannon. Cannon's going to go behind that big line. And it is going to be a touchdown. Beautiful blocking on that left side. The tackle picked up the outside contain so Cannon could get around. Right there, you can see the big old 67 just, just gets enough of a man to seal the outside contain. Florida State is up 7-3. Florida State to kick off. TCU going to receive this thing in its own end zone, and he's going to take it out. He's going to get about 20 up to 25 and almost to the 30-yard line. TCU starts its second drive from the 29-yard line. Moved the ball very well. It was a drop pass that actually stalled the drive. Here's Mason, dropping back. He looks. He's going to run the ball. He's slow, but he's going to get somewhere with it. It's an eight-yard run, setting up a second and two. Must not have seen anybody open, just decided to run with the ball. Mason drops back. Looks. Quick throw. That's going to be the tight end. And he's going to be down at the 39-yard line. Nick Kurt, three receptions. They really are harping on a poor covering linebacker squad. Pistol formation, Mason's going to hand off, and that's going uh, that's going to be Sullivan. Eight-yard run. Sullivan, um, 
Sullivan's not really that good of a running back, I, I hate to say. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Mason with these quick passes to the tight end probably is the way they're going to win this game. That's a quarterback read. Mason's going to actually get into Florida State territory and pick up the first down. Mason's not the fastest man in the world, but so far he's getting it done. Two rushes, 20 yards. I'll take that any day. Mason under center. He's going to drop back. It's going to be a quick pass, and it's going to be dropped. This time, Kirk cannot hang on. Middle linebacker did his job and, and removed the ball from his hands. Mason under center. Sends a second tight end motion. Going to hand off this time to Sullivan. Corner is sealed, but he but is filled. The, uh, the backside linebacker in safety came up to make a beautiful play, only allowing three yards after the, after the corner was sealed. Shotgun formation for Mason. Sullivan back with him. Two tight ends set. Mason going to throw, and it's going to be... Jonathan Harden, the man who dropped the ball to end the drive, this time comes up with a very big third and seven catch. Continues the drive, and they are at the Florida State 21-yard line. First and 10. Two tight ends set, tight end in motion. Hand up. No, it's going to be a fake to Sullivan. Going to be a throw to Kirk, and there's nobody out there for him. Sorry, that's Montgomery. My bad. They're going to review this. Um, yeah, he's got. He's in. He he's in. I mean, maybe that third foot didn't come down inbounds, but he definitely got the first two in. So it's going to be first and goal from about the seven yard line for TCU. Very nice drive so far today. I don't know where Montgomery must have been filling in for Kirk. Fake handoff to Sullivan. He looks, he throws, and that is Kirk this time for a touchdown. And it is going to be 10 to 7. TCU. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch on the sidelines, and that's a new school record for TCU. As the formality kick goes in. So, so far we've seen TCU on two drives get two scores. One field goal, one touchdown. Defensive ends for Florida State not making much of, a, of any noise. Florida State's going to bring it out and they're going to bring it out to the 25. It's, a, it's one of those things, if you can only get to the 25, the only thing that can happen is bad things. So you might as well just kneel on the ball. Florida State takes over at their second drive. Much like their first, they're down by three. Bunch of formation to the left. Mason's going to run with the ball, and he's only going to get a yard. I don't think he allowed that play to develop at all. Two minutes left to go in the first quarter. TCU 10, Florida State 7. Mason, five wide. And they're going to come with a little bit of heat. Mason's going to get it off, and he's going to get it complete up to the 45. That's Derek Riley. He's playing on the inside receiver and was matched up against the linebacker. That is a very, very, very advantageous look for Florida State. In fact, I would probably hit him with a no huddle and hit him again. Four wide set. Cannon in the backfield. It's going to be delayed to Cannon. Cannon's got a crease. He's going to get across the 50 and down to the the TCU 48-yard line. New school rushing record for Cannon. Second and four from the TCU, well, I guess you call it the 49. Pro set shotgun. Mason's going to run an option. He's going to keep it himself. Breaks one tackle, but can only get one yard. They immediately went right after Cannon. They were not going to allow him to get that pitch. Sets up a third and three, definitely from the 48. Pistol formation. Cannon in the backfield is a single back. They're going to set up a screen, and it's going to be snuffed out by the linebacker. Broken tackle. Second broken tackle. Cannon across the 30-yard line down to the TCU 25. That play was short of the first down the whole way. 
But Cannon, which is what great running backs do, they can make something out of nothing. Florida State on the 25, first and 10. 50 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Mason dropping back is going to hit his man. That's Terrell Russell. For a four-yard catch. First time he's caught the ball today. Martindale, as you can see, has done very good with his completion ratio. Seven for nine for 94 yards here in the first quarter. Martindale. Drops back. He looks. He throws. He's got his man. That's going to be short of the first down. He's going to set up a third and in inches. And that might be the last play of the first quarter. No, they're going to try to run one more play. Third and in inches. Eye formation. Cannon in the backfield. They've got. I, it's going to be a pitch out to Cannon. He's got to stutter a little bit to catch the pitch. The pitch wasn't out in front of him, and he's hurt. He is hurt, and that is going to hurt Florida State's offense. They do have a very good line, but it is Cannon that makes a lot of those plays. At the end of one, TCU 10, Florida State 7. We'll have to figure out what exactly happens to Cannon. Until then, it's a fourth and three, and they're going for it. They're actually going for it. Mate, Martindale is going to run. He gets sacked and fumbled, and the play is dead. So Florida State fails to convert on a fourth and three inside the red zone instead of going for the tying field goal. There's Mason. Quarterback Reed keeps the ball. He's going to be out to the 28, 29. That's going to be second and six. I don't know why Florida State would have gone for a fourth and three. I, I would have kicked the field goal and tied up the game. There's a lot of football to be played. And so far, they have not been able to stop TCU. And there's a throw and catch right there to Nick Kirk. That guy is destroying Florida State right now. Five catches, 66 yards, and we just started the second quarter. Mason under center sends, sends Kurt in motion. No, it's not Kurt. It's Montgomery. And that's Mason. I thought he was sacked, but he somehow gets out of the fracas and gets inside the Florida State 40-yard line. First and 10, folks. Mason sends a man in motion. Fake handoff to Sullivan, then hits Montgomery about the 37-yard line. For a second and eight. So far, Florida State has not been able to stop TCU before they get inside their territory. This is a little disconcerting for the Florida State. Once again, Montgomery in motion. This time they are going to hand it to Sullivan, and Sullivan makes a nice run through through a very nice hole. And that's going to set up a third and three on Florida State's 31. Mason under center, two tight ends set. Sullivan's going to, and it's going to be a handoff to Sullivan, and he's just going to get back. He's just going to cross the 30-yard line, cross, making a fourth and one for TCU, who will go for it, much like Florida State went for it. Bunch trips left. Curtain motion. Josh back, looks, throws, and that's going to be a completion right there to Harden. That's Harden's second catch, and that's going to be a very important fourth down conversion and gets TCU a first down from the 20-yard line. Six minutes left to go in the second quarter. Mason in the shotgun. He's going to run the option, flips to Sullivan. Sullivan makes one man miss and gets down to the 13-yard line. You got to be worried if you're Florida State. They've had, they have not been able to stop TCU. Mason drops back. No, it's going to be a draw play to Sullivan. Sullivan up the middle, down to the seven yard line. That is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. From the eight yard line, Mason absolutely playing beautifully. Three wide receivers to the left. Kirk to the right. He's going to drop back. Mason looking, and he takes too long and is sacked. That time, good, too, good coverage in the end zone. 
allowed for a four-man rush, and that's a defensive end or defensive tackle right there. Finally getting through the line and actually coming up with Florida State's first sack of the game. It's going to bring up a second and goal from the 15. Same formation as before. Three wide receivers to the left. That's going to be a quarterback read, and there's nobody out there. And the safety's got to come up and make the play. Eight yards downfield. That's going to be a third and goal from the seven-yard line. Mason drops back. He's not, he's not even going to wait for it. He's going to run. And how does he get into the end zone? Nobody paying attention to Mason. And he basically wheels his wheel his uh, wheelchair right into the end zone. No speed. No moves. Just a good old snail pace into the end zone for a TCU 10-point lead. 17-7. With five minutes left to go in the second, TCU is trying to pull an off upset here in the first round of the 32-team playoff. Florida State takes it at the goal line, moves his way up to the 23. There was a little hole there on the outside, down the sidelines, but could not get it. Florida State, after going for it on fourth down, now takes over from their own 23-yard line. Down by 10. That's Martindale over in the middle, and he is going to completely whiff on a man that was open. Martindale from the 23. Drops back. He looks. He throws, and that is almost picked off. Safety stepped in front of that, and that would have been six right there. And that would have easily, easily broken the hearts of many Florida State fans. Martindale drops back. He looks. He throws down the sideline. He's got a man, and it's the 30, the 20, the, and he gets taken down at the 12-yard line. Nick Brooks with his third catch of the day, and this one's a big one. Big play by Florida State. Gets him first and 10 from the TCU 13-yard line. Jobs back, throws, and it's going to be a little. And Cannon's back in the game for a screen pass right there. Six-yard reception. That's, uh, that's big. They need Cannon, especially down here in the red zone. That's Florida State. I just hand off the ball to Cannon. And of course, with that logic, they go with an empty backfield. There's a throw, and it is just absolutely dropped. Oh, boy. That was a bad drop. That, bit, that was an easy walk-in touchdown. Third and four. First, uh, third and four on the seven-yard line. Throw over the middle, and that is caught. That is Terrell Russ. That's Terrell Russell, by the way. Martindale will now have oh, that's Russ. Will now set a school touchdown passing record for the season. You're going to see a lot of these. Uh, being that it's going to be the playoffs, you're going to play a lot more games, a lot more records to be broken. This extra point, and it brings Florida State to within three. There's the kickoff. TCU takes it from inside the end zone. Brings it out. He's at the 25. Little bit of a hole there. And that's Harden out to the 29-yard line. So Mason's going to come out under center. Sullivan in the backfield. Kurt, the tight end, the only one out there up on the top side of the screen. And that's going to be a little bubble pass to um, Robert Cole for no yards, second and 10. Mason drops back. He does have Kurt short, and but he had Harden open as well. The throw to Harden, he just can't get enough on it as it was, who was that? That was uh, Stevenson, draped all over him from Florida State. 
Mason drops back, setting up the screen. Pass to Sullivan, and it, they had some blockers out there, but pretty well read for Florida State. They put a stop to that. It's going to be fourth and four. And for the first time today, we have a three and out as TCU. So TCU can't extend the lead, and with a three-point lead, they've got to punt the ball to Florida State. Yeah, the stats seem to lie there. Uh, three for six in the second quarter for Martindale. I, I don't care. He, he, they moved the ball quickly, and they got a touchdown. So that's all that matters to me. And they tried a little delay to Cannon, and he is stopped for a five-yard loss. So second and 15. 2.56 left to go in the half. Got a bunch formation to the right. And Martindale's just going to run it right up the middle through a huge crowd of defenders to pick up 14 yards and set up a third and one. So, third and one from their own 43-yard line. 2.30 left to go in the half. They're in an eye formation. More than likely, they are just going to slam it right up the middle with Cannon. There it is. Cannon's going to kick it out to the side, but gets a first down out to the Florida State 46-yard line. Big first down here. Florida State. Actually, TCU gets the ball to start off the first half, I believe. Um, anyways, uh, Martindale throws, cannot connect. Missed his tight end. And instead of actually going for the pick, he, uh, the the. TCU defender, sort of a surprise that the ball was that far off and just knocked it down. Empty backfield. Martindale drops back. He's going to throw a heart. Or, uh, there you go. And there's the tight end right there down inside the 30-yard line. That's Derek Riley. This time he is able to connect. Florida State. TCU, 29-yard line, down by three. Got a little jet sweep going on there. Good. God. <laughs> That's Nick Brooks. <laughs> Got me tongue-tied here. Had Nick Brooks in the backfield. Beautiful 10-yard run. Four receiver set. Nick Brooks, the man who just made that run down at the bottom, is going to be a little option. This time, Martindale's going to... What is Martindale doing? Martindale did not realize. Oh, Martindale did not realize the man was not back there. Decided to pitch it anyways, and then in just a cluster, the TCU players fighting over the ball wound up tackling themselves, or else that would have been returned for a touchdown. So Florida State makes the first turnover of the game. This is just. It, 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 it it's just oh there we go there's a sack by there's the first sack by by uh Lou Stevenson today finally Florida State getting into it but you know Florida State making that error is just it, that that hurts so far a, a fourth down failed attempt and now a unforced error by Martindale pitching the ball to somebody who had already been tackled. As Florida State down by three, 120 left to go in the game, or left to go in the half, and it looks like they're, TCU's going to run, run the clock down a little bit here on third and 15. I guess they don't feel that they're going to pick this first down up and doesn't want to give Florida State much time. Martindale drop or Mason drops back. He throws with the man in his face. He's got him. That's Kirk again. He is lighting them up. And this time it was over safety coverage and not middle and not linebacker coverage. So now TCU after a timeout. First and ten from the 31 yard line, looking to extend the lead. Mason drops back, takes way too long. Sullivan gets to him, but so does the defensive tackle, Tommy Robinson. 
They're going to hurry up this time from the 37. They've got to at least try to get inside field goal range. 41 seconds left to go. Mason drops back. Has to throw it. Florida State's line is now smelling blood. They're getting off the blocks, and they are not giving Mason the time that he needs anymore. Drops back. Kurt's over the middle, but they're going to throw it instead to Derek Fields for four-yard reception. That's a fourth and 13. I don't know if they're in field goal range or not. They're going to try it anyways. All right, so TCU with seconds left to go in the half. will attempt a 51-yarder by Kenton Harley. Here's a snap. The place down the kick. It's up, and it's sailing right. No good. So we'll go into halftime. TCU 17, Florida State 14. TCU looking for the upset, playing well, moving the ball well. But we saw there towards the end of the half, it was Florida State's line starting to get to Mason. And which, me, which might make a long second half for the quarterback for TCU. So we're back in the second half. TCU to kick off. Taking at the goal line. Up past the 20. 25 and back to the 25-yard line. It just take a knee, guys. Only bad things can happen when you bring the ball out and you can't make it past the 30-yard line. You're at least if you just take a knee, you'll safely get it up to the 25-yard line. Here's Martindale with Cannon in the backfield. They got some men coming, throwing over the middle to his tight end, and he cannot hit him. Had a lot of middle passes that just could not connect. Martindale's going to run an option, pitches it to Cannon. Cannon's going to take it out to the 30-yard line. Just going to set up a third and four. A doable third and four. Pistol formation. Gonna set up a screen and it oh cannon tries to stay on his feet it was stuffed out blocker got there a little too late got enough on cannon that he stumbled to the ground so unlike the other screen play the other third and four that uh cannon was stopped and turned into first down he could not do it this time so florida state will punt it away this is harden harden will take it down to about the 35 yard line sorry it's sean turner i guess there's a different um, I guess Harden's the kick returner. TCU takes over the 35-yard line. Full back and half back it is in. Su Sullivan is set back. Mason's going to throw, going to hit the fullback for a gain of eight. Second and two for TCU. It looks like TCU might have made a little bit of adjustments and, and told Mason, just get rid of the damn ball. Do not hold on to it. Fake hand off there. And that's Kurt. Kurt's going to break a tackle. He's down to the 20. Inside. It did he get inside the 10? I don't know. I think he was out of bounds at the 12. Nick Kurt, seven receptions, 154 yards. He is destroying this Florida State defense. Mason under center, handoff to Sullivan, up the middle. The gap's going to be filled, but not after a three-yard gain. Second and seven from the nine. There's Kurt up at the top of the screen, but it's going to be handoff to Sullivan. He's going to find a seam. He's going to be down inside the five at about the three-yard line. Third and one for TCU. And Florida State is going to try to stiffen this defense up as they are getting pounded right now by a ground game. And it's going to be a jet sweep, and that's going to be Harden. He's just going to pick up the first down. Little bit of, little bit of a quick snap there, and may have got just enough of a jump on Florida State in order to get that one yard. One yard was all they needed. Full back in motion. Hand off to Sullivan. Sullivan is stopped right there at the one-yard line. Florida State did a great job of filling the hole and controlling that line of scrimmage. 
It's actually going to be second and goal from the two-yard line. So Sullivan lost a yard there. Sullivan's getting a little breather. Another jet sweep, and that's going nowhere. Derek Fields is not going to get anywhere. That's going to fool nobody on Florida State. First time you ran it, great. You got enough to you got enough to to get a step on Florida State. This time, not happening. Fullback in motion. There's the handoff. There's a flag. So is this going to stand? Offsides. The defense. This stands. Touchdown, DCU, TCU. And TCU extends its lead to 10. 24-14 TCU. It's 5.23 left to go in the third quarter. So Florida State once again finds himself down by 10. TCU looking for the upset. It's a three versus six in the first round of the playoffs. Gatewood this time will actually take a knee in the end zone. Yay! I like it when players do smart things. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of smart football. Call me an old timer. There's a throw over the middle, and that is going to be Nick Brooks. Nice 15 yard reception. He's had a couple big catches today, and once again, he just absolutely has beaten his man. This time, Nick Brooks will go to the top of the screen as Martindale in the shotgun. That's going to be a handoff to Cannon, and the safety basically gets blocked right into the legs of Cannon. The safety just gets destroyed, but his lifeless body is able to trip up Cannon on his way outside. Second and 12 for Florida State. Florida State down by 10. Martindale, handoff on a delay to Cannon. Cannon's got a seam up to the 50-yard line, and they're going to give him that first down. I think he's short, but either way, that was a beautiful run by Cannon, beautiful hole made by the Florida State offensive line. Martindale calling out the signals. They're going to run another option. Martindale is going to run it. He's going to be out of bounds inside the TCU 40-yard line. And you got a little bit nervous because they once again went after the pitch man. This time, Martindale did not do a blind pitch backwards to nobody. Martindale under center. Sends his tight end in motion. Cannon is in the soul's halfback in the backfield. And that's going to be... That is going to be Terrell Russ this time with a reception. He's going to be down inside the 30-yard line of TCU. Inside the 25, actually. First and 10, Florida State. Little quick pass out there to Russ again. And that little smoke route will get seven yards and set up a second and three. Russ at the top of the screen. Brooks at the bottom of the screen. Will they pass the ball or hand it off to Ken? Brooks in motion. Going to move to the slot. And they're going to run an option. Pitch to Cannon. Cannon's going to try to get to the corner. He's going to be right at the first down, but just short. Third and inches for Florida State from the TCU 15-yard line. They need to convert. They're going to be in the shotgun here, and we'll see what happens. Might be another option. It is a pitch to Cannon. Cannon gets to the outside and will just barely get the inches they needed for the first down. First and 10 for Florida State from the 14-yard line, trying to come back from a 10-point deficit. Martindale in the backfield. Fake handoff to Cannon. He's going to keep it himself, and he's going to be stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Safety came up, made a nice play, filling in. Martindale, 10 rushes for 27 yards. Of course, there's a couple sacks in there, but so far not really a great day running the ball, especially when he pitches it to nobody. Man in motion. Hand off. That's not Cannon. I don't know who that is. Hobbs. Nice 11-yard rush. Gets it first and goal at the three-yard line. Two tight end set, I formation. This time Cannon is the man in the backfield, but they're just going to hand it right to their fullback in Lee Sanders. Basically walks 
in from about three yards out. Nobody touched him. And the Florida State Seminoles has come within three. 2.25 left to go in the third quarter. Florida State makes this a one-score game. Can they make it a no-score game? Stop top TCU and take the lead. That's what they're hoping for. It's a three versus six matchup. TCU is the number six seed, and it would be an upset, let me tell you. I'm not – just because they're both ranked, TCU is definitely the less, least talented team out here. Five wide set. Mason drops back, throws over the middle. Will hit a very nice short pass, setting up a second and four. TCU on the year is eight and five. Um, sorry, is eight and four. They were eight and three with EA Sims. The only time we actually saw them was an absolute beatdown by Ohio State in the horseshoe, 55 to 13. Now, that's not saying much. Ohio State is an extremely good team. We'll be able to destroy a lot of teams. Back to the action. It's third and four. Mason sends man in motion. Drops back. He's looking. He's looking. There's a man in his face. He's going to throw, and he cannot connect. I couldn't tell if he was looking for, for Kurt or if he was looking for Harden, who was a little bit deeper. But Florida State's defense has held with a minute 59. As we were saying before, TCU just not really that good. Um, I wouldn't really hold a 55-13 game against them. Like uh, you know, it is Ohio State. Ohio State will blow many people out. Did blow many people out this year. Will blow people out probably in this playoffs. So Martindale gets to take over down by three. And that's Russ on the completion, seven-yard completion there. They actually have a chance to take the lead. They haven't had this chance for a little while. Minute 30 left to go. Maybe Florida State's starting to loosen up a little bit. There's a throw, and it's actually going to be dropped. Florida State comes up to the line. Got dual receivers up the top. They're going to run an option. It's going to be sniffed out, and just the linebacker meets Martindale and slams him down to the turf. And that is fourth and eight. TCU holds. They could not get the pitch out to Cannon, which is truly unfortunate. Here's the punt. Turner's going to take it at his own 25 and get blasted. Absolutely blasted. So far, they're, they're going to show some nice highlights of Kirk because he has destroyed the Florida State defense. And if you're TCU offense coordinator, I think you're going into the, into the, onto the sidelines and telling Mason, hey, look, just look for Kirk. Man in motion going to be another jet sweep. No, this time they're going to hand it to Sullivan, and nobody's fooled on that one. Nobody's fooled on that one. Mason back under sudden. He's going to send, that's, I think it's Turner. Hand off up the field, and Sullivan once again, same play, just opposite just to the opposite direction, and that's going to be stuffed third and nine. Mason in danger of having a quick three and out as the TCU defense held. Mason drops back, fires, and overthrows Harden. Harden was open down the sidelines, was looking for another nice catch. But overthrew him. He would have had that and been. T he might have gotten a touchdown out of that. Gatewood's going to receive it. The 27 yard line up the middle, and it's going to get around the 39 yard line. So Florida State takes over after TCU misfires on a wide open man. Florida State I formation. Just tied in over on the bottom side of the screen. They're actually going to throw the ball. 
Going to throw, going to throw to Cannon. Little dump off to Cannon for three yards. Here we go. Start of the fourth quarter. TCU up 24-21. Second and seven for Martindale. Martindale's going to fake to Cannon. Going to kick it off to his tight end, Marcus Scott. And that's a three-yard reception. So three-yard reception, three-yard reception. We're down to third and four. I'm fine with that. Three and four-yard games will get you some, get you a manageable third and short. Brooks in motion. And Martindale's going to take off. He's going to get stopped right at the first down marker. He took on the linebacker. And Martindale did not win. He What? Oh, that is a favorable spot, folks. And they got the first down quick pass, and that is Gateway down, Gatewood down to the 22-yard line. I think TCU's defense was just as shocked as mine that they got the first down. The Florida State getting to getting there quick and delivering a quick pass sort of caught them off guard, caught me off guard, folks. I didn't think there was any way Martindale got that first down. Martindale face the cannon up the middle and is going to be stopped before he gets to the line of scrimmage. Martindale lines up at the 22-yard line. Bargain out the signals, drops back. He looks, he's going to run, and he's going to break one tackle down inside the 15, right at the first down marker. This time, they are not going to give Martindale a ghost first down. And it's going to be first, or it's going to be third and one at the 12-yard line. Martindale in the shotgun. Brooks at the top of the screen, good coverage, but it's going to be a fit. It's going to be a quarterback read. Martindale is in for a touchdown. Quarterback read by Martindale. He kept it. And there was nobody. Great blocking. Beautiful hole. Had one man to beat before the end zone and ran over him to give Florida State a lead for the first time since the first quarter. Last time they saw the lead, they were up 7-3. There's the kick, and it's going to be downed in the end zone. Florida State is beating them in total yards. They are definitely moving the ball better than TCU, especially of late. TCU continues to go three and out when they need their offense to do something. Now they really need their offense to do something. Empty backfield, just Mason in the back. There's a blitz. Quick throw, quick catch by Kurt. And what is that, seven or eight receptions on the Eight receptions, 157 yards. But this one only good for three yards. Empty backfield. Kurt is actually right next to the tackle. Kurt's over in the middle, but he's going to run. Any, oh, Mason's going to try to run. He was being blitzed, could not get the ball out. So one problem that you have with an empty backfield is the fact that if one extra extra blitzer, one extra rusher is in there, you are in trouble. Or if they overload one side, you got to get the ball out quick. Third and 13. Mason drops back. Kurt is out on the back, but they will throw to, uh, to uh, Turner, and it's going to be incomplete. Trying to get the ball out to Turner. Well covered. TCU is going to have to punt it away on 4th and 13. Five minutes left to go in the game. TCU has... Oh, Gateway make, Gatewood makes a move and gets down to the 50-yard line. Beautiful. And Tom, I think it's going to be a boring play and try to talk. The, the Florida State decides to actually make a play out of it. Empty backfield. Martindale calling out the shots. Martindale drops back, got a ran rushing in, but that's going to be his tie is going to be completed to Derek Riley. That's his tight end doing a great job with the catch. First time today, Florida State actually has the ball and the lead. Can they put this out of out of reach for TCU? 
That is Brooks in motion. He's going to run. He's going to run over a man. He's going to get down inside the 30-yard line. Second and six. Brooks is having a good day today. Caught that one long pass that he doesn't. He, that sparked the Florida State offense. They're down 17-7 without that long pass. They might have been in trouble. Setting up a screen. There was nobody there. Cannon got held up by the defensive end. So Florida State, third and six from their 30. I don't know if they're going to be kicking a field goal from here or not. I think they need to get this first down. Look, the throw, and that's going to be a completion. That's Terrell Russ. Terrell Russ picks up the first down. Definitely field goal range at the 20-yard line. Now, remember the red zone problems that Florida State's had. Florida State's gone four down fourth and three. Did not get it. Florida State has pitched to an empty man. There's Cannon up the middle and will get eight yards, seven yards, down to the 13-yard line. So without those two issues, Florida State would have a bigger lead, and they would uh, and a field goal actually would, would put this thing out of hand, I would think. Hand off to Cannon. Cannon's got the corner. He's going to take it down to the eight-yard line of TCU. First and goal from the eight-yard line for Florida State, looking to try to get this thing two scores up. Little counter play to Cannon. Cannon down inside the five-yard line, and he is, they're going to call him short of the first down. I thought he was in. He was not. It's going to be second and goal, basically, from the five-inch line. I formation. Cannon back there, just hand the ball. They're going to throw the ball. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But at least Martindale is going to have all the time he needs just to drop back, find his own hole, and get in there. Florida State has now upped the lead to 11 points. 35-24 with 3.37 left to go in the game. And TCU's offense, who has been struggling, will now get the ball and need to do something with it. That's going to be hard. He's going to take it in the end zone. He's going to get out to about the 25. A, a Turner. So TCU starts at their own 25-yard line down by 11. They need to get a score from this drive. They need to get a score, and they probably should do it quickly. Fake hand off to Sullivan. There's the throw, and that's going to be, guess who? That's Kirk again. Would you look anywhere else? You are down by 11. You need a touchdown. You might as well just find Kirk and just get him the ball constantly. He, there he is in motion. He's going to release over the center. Mason's going to try to run the ball, and this time it's going to be big old 99 Nate Smith, defensive end, getting a sack. It wasn't really Nate Smith who did it. It was more Mason trying to get out of the pocket. Second and 17. Sends Kurt in motion. Drops back. Kurt has a delayed release. The throw this time. The throw is going to be to Harden on the sidelines. He's going to catch it. Third and two. Hurry up. Well, yeah, hurry up. He did get out of bounds. He did get out of bounds. Stop the clock at 2.56. They're still going to hurry up. Bunch more Mason to the top of the screen. Mason's going to try to run the ball, and he runs into his old man to slow him up which allows him to get sacked. Fourth and four, they have got to go for it. They have got to convert. Trips to the left, Kurt to the right. He drops that, actually it's Montgomery. He slips on the wet turf, cannot set himself up to throw. And that's it, folks. That is it. For TCU, Florida State can now just basically run out the clock and let them get the timeouts out. It doesn't matter if they score or not. There's no way with 226 left to go that they're going to be able to stop Florida State and score twice. They will use their first timeout. Good run by Cannon. So on the 30-yard line. So it looks like Florida State is moving on to the second round. 
And off, and that's going to, oh, that's going to be Cannon. Chucks one block down to the 15-yard line. Martindale hands off to Cannon once more. TCU only has one timeout left to go. They will take their final timeout. So TC, uh, Florida State lines up on the 12-yard line, second and six. So second-round opponent, we're, we're going to look past this. I have a feeling the Florida State's going to win. Um, oh, and there's a throw to Brooks for a touchdown. Now with an extra point, we now know Florida State will win. Now we're looking past into the second round, second-round matchup. Florida State will meet the winner of Alabama or Air Force. That's a 2-7 matchup down there, um, down in, down in the uh, New Orleans Bowl. I'm going to automatically assume that Alabama is going to win, which would mean that Florida State will take on Alabama in the Armed Forces Bowl that has actually been moved to Lincoln Field in Philadelphia and sponsored by our by Army Navy. Now that's going to be a cold one up there, but it is what it is. It's going to be a good game, though. I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, Florida State needs to Florida State needs to come out a little bit better than they came out here. They, they get down by ten points in the third quarter. I don't see them coming back on Alabama. I'm sorry. Um, as for TCU, you know, TCU played beautiful. They were up 24-14. Uh, and the, the, the Florida State defense, I think, took over. It wasn't unforced errors by, by – uh, and there's another sack. Mason just waited for somebody to get open. That's, that's the typical of the way the second half's been for him. Um, the Florida State line finally did control the game, force Mason to throw quick passes, throw Ma force Mason to throw inaccurate passes, uh, or take sacks. Uh, Mason tried to break the pocket quickly. Might have been a little bit from the, you know probably from the pressure. Their um, their their coverage got better. Their coverage definitely got better. There weren't there weren't many passes where Kirk was completely wide open. That was a big thing that was haunting Florida State. So overall, a good a, a good game, a good first half definitely played by TCU. Just the second half adjustments. There's nothing you can do. You've got a team that is extremely talented, more talented than your own team. You go in at halftime, if you've got a good coach, the good coach makes adjustments. And the things that you're exploiting, all of a sudden, you come out in the second half and you can't exploit them anymore. And that's exactly what happened here as Florida State finishes the game with 28 unanswered points. And we'll move on to the second round. Florida State, 42 TCU 24. Thanks for watching, folks. As if you've been watching the series, this is this is a test of the sixth season of my on, uh, of my offline dynasty. Decided to make it into 32 game playoff. Uh, I am currently getting a website up so that when I restart this with a 2014 roster, people will be able to participate, get their brackets in and compete and try to try to actually win the bracket pool that uh, might be a little fun for you guys and that's that, that's what i'm looking for uh thanks for watching and we'll have more later